Hello everybody, welcome back to the garage. Working on the old blue willies again today. Uh, finally got to the point where I could tackle that fuel filler neck, um, or at least most of it. So to get there, I also had to remove um, the fuel tank again to build all the mounts um, for it uh, in the forward section that we went over last time and uh, drill the rear section of the skid plate where it mounts to the bumper um, and that stuff but now the gas tank is back in and bolted in and holding itself up without any clamps and it's basically in its final position um, no big surprises there really a couple little things to tweak the next time it comes out one of the holes for the gas tank skid plate was like a sixteenth of an inch too far one direction um, so i need to need to do some file work on that but other than that it was pretty good. Uh, that did take quite a bit of time uh, just to get it out and back in again and, you know, by myself and lifting things up and, you know, all the things. So, but anyways, got through with that, got the tank back in. And so now uh, basically decided to tackle the fuel filler neck. And so how that ended up, uh, basically it's over here in the uh, passenger corner. And so um, I'm going to have it come out this area uh this is this is a little long still i think i'm it's it's hard when you're mocking things up to get the you know hold three things uh this is actually stainless so it's it's uh i, I couldn't really find a good way to hold it in there so i decided to leave this just a little long so before it gets final welded i'll cut this back and i'll flush this cap um down about i think looking at it um, and where your fingers are. I think I have about a quarter of an inch I can sink it in. Um, but anyways, I basically made this um, outlet in the back panel here. Uh, started off just with uh, tape marked. I decided to put it in the center, in the center of this panel, um, generally up as high as I could uh, just to make if the vehicle's on a steep incline to make it less likely to have fuel against the vented cap um, and all that. And uh, there is quite a few bends um, to get from here to the tank. So I think it was better to have it up high than down low. I also have to put a tail light down in this area. So, um, but basically I ended up um, cutting this out and then I also, it's gonna be very hard to see it on on a video I'm sure but um, I also formed a flange on this so it's not just cut off it's actually got a a folded uh, 90 degree flange all the way around um, and then pretty pretty darn closely matches uh, the 45 degree angle of the filler neck on this side so that that all went pretty easy um, and I think was pretty minimal other than the the length needing to be just a little bit shorter, I think. But uh, this was the little tool I made um, to help roll that edge. So it's basically just a piece of bar stock and I saw cut in a, a relief in it that I could use to uh, grab a hold of that lip and bend it all the way around and bend it in and get it, get it to about 45 degrees or so. And then I just went in with a hammer and dolly and, and finished that. So that was, that was pretty easy. Um, this part under here was the challenging part. So hold on, I gotta get some light. There we go. That's almost too much light. Well, we'll go with it. So under here, you can see what it ended up looking like on the back side. You can see a little bit of that flange back there. Um, but basically it comes in at a 45 degree angle. It goes down and then it does a 90. Um, to get around this, this is the uh, C-pillar um, down tube for the cage and will also be the, the shock mount. Um, but then it, it basically just goes, turns in and stays at the same level as the, you can see that in there. Um, here is the, the fuel filler on the tank. So it, I, I was able to get very close. I did run out of bending bends in this inch and a half. So I need one more 45 degree uh, bend to turn it back this way and line it up with the, with the, uh, 
filler neck on the tank in there, but basically just a straight piece of hose from that to there, a uh, short straight piece of hose. And then uh, I do need to trim a little bit of this flange out of the way on the, the floor pan uh, and fit that. But uh, overall, pretty happy with how that fit in there. It is um, quite tight, especially down here. I will probably, the way this will mount is I will do a couple little tab mounts um, from the C-pillar to the filler tube um, to make it, it basically rigid. Um, but yeah, that's how that all fits in there and stays stays out of the way of where the tire will be, um, all those things. So yeah, other than a little bit of fitment, pretty happy with that. Uh, change the length on a couple little things, but overall for, uh, for having to deal with stuff that, um, whoa, you know, just pointy stick, um, having to deal with just running out of space. So these things are, you know, like I've mentioned before, are darn small. And so, I don't know, that was really good light for a second. Light? Mm, I don't know. Maybe it makes me look a little bald. Yeah, I do have hair, just not very much, and it's short. Anyways, um, yeah, so that was, uh, that's where we got to for today on the uh, Old Blue Willies. And uh, it's starting to really come together now. There's, it's just, I guess, you know, there's always stuff to do, but um, it's definitely getting down to the details and trying to do, um, things that are better now than when it gets blown apart for the next time. So it's got to come apart one more time for the final assembly um, of, or rather come apart and get, you know, final welded in places that I couldn't get to. It's got to get painted, um, those things. So, um, but it is, you know, a very complete vehicle at this point. And so it is interesting to, uh, you know, get to that point, get to see what it's going to look like finished basically other than, you know, colors or whatever. But, uh, yeah. So keep ticking away at the things that need to happen before it's blown apart. Um, and, uh, yeah, then blow it apart, get it painted and put it back together again. And, and, uh, it'll be a amazing, amazing Jeep. So thanks for following along. If you have any questions, uh, drop a comment below. And, uh, yeah, if you like this kind of stuff, thumbs up and, uh, subscribe to the channel and all those YouTube -y things. So thanks again for following along and, uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.